biscuits. It doesn't have to be breakfast for delicious biscuits, does it, David? Does not, does not. All right, we're at Standard TV and Appliance in Beaverton in their beautiful test kitchen. And David is going to show us what to do with sourdough starter. That's right, Robin. Most people just think about bread when mm -hmm. they think about sourdough uh, starter or sourdough in general. But they, sourdough makes uh, great biscuits too. Uh, it gives them a little bit of tang and it really lightens them up so they're really a light biscuit. And you're making well, kind of a savory biscuit today. I, it, yeah, and this one I am. I mean, I'm adding chives. You could add other things. You could add bacon. Uh, you could add any herb that you want, whatever tastes good for you. And if you don't have a friend who's a chef and shares a sourdough starter with you, then we go to our website and we'll tell you how you can get your own. That's right, and it's really simple. Okay. So really, it, it's just like making any other biscuit, just that we're gonna be replacing um, some of the liquid with the sourdough starter but we're gonna use uh, baking powder and we're gonna use baking soda and both of those are gonna give a little bit of leavening. And we're gonna add a little bit of salt. And you can't skip either one of those. You really can't, uh, otherwise you're gonna wind up with crackers more okay. than, more than a, a biscuit. So you just wanna make sure that you really whisk that in really good so you uh, get it mixed evenly. Okay. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and start adding the fat. And in this case, I'm using shortening but you could actually use butter. If you prefer butter, you could use lard. Uh, some people may not like that, but it actually can be pretty good. You could even try bacon fat. If you're using butter, would it have to be cold? You wanna use cold butter, anything you use, cause that's the, 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 the main thing is you don't really want it to get uh, creamy like you do for a cookie or another type of batter. Okay. So basically you're just gonna to continue to incorporate this until you get smaller than pea sized pieces. All right, you go. All right. Okay, so it only takes a few minutes, actually, yeah. just a couple of minutes to get it where you want it. Right, it's really quick, and you don't want to you don't want to overwork it. Otherwise, you won't have nice tender biscuits. So you do have a little bit of the um, Crisco still in there. I do. I mean, so it's pieces. Pea size, Small, like yeah, even small, smaller than right, pieces. Okay. Right. So then the next thing is anything that you're going to be adding that's going to be uh, your your extra add-in, whether it be chives, uh, you know, green onion, maybe a little bit of rosemary. And you said you could even put bits of bacon. You could, you could, and that would go really good with some some. Bacon gravy. <laughs> so then we're gonna add two cups of the starter. And when we add in our liquids, we, we wanna be careful that we really do it really gently. Again, you do not wanna overwork this dough. If you do, again, you won't get the nice tender biscuits that you're looking for. So, and this is about a half a cup of milk, and I'm just gonna add about half of it to start with because I don't know if I'm gonna need it all. Okay. And then just gently, I do it more lifting. You just lift it from the outside into yeah, the center. Yeah, into the center. Okay. And all you're looking for this is to, for the batter to come, or the dough to come together. You do not want it to um, be totally mixed. So it's going to be, you know, not wet, not overly dry, because you're going to have to fold it out a little bit. So. I think the key words are what you just said. It, it's a dough, not a batter. Right, okay. right. So anyway, this might just use a little bit more milk, and then once I got it incorporated, we'll roll it out. All right. So you can see that it's started to come together now and uh, it's basically ready to be rolled. And again, the same thing on rolling, you don't wanna do too much because again, if you try and do too much, you're gonna make it tough. So we're just gonna take it out. And I wear my white coat today, so I wanna get the flour on that it's not gonna, <clears throat> not gonna make a mess. You don't want tough biscuits. Don't want tough biscuits. So you're just gonna knead it about three or four times, just about that, that's about it. So that's good, teeny bit more flour. And then we're gonna roll this out. I'm just gonna roll it out to about a half an inch. And then you're gonna cut it with a two and a half inch cookie cutter, or you could actually make squares if you like. And uh, I'd oh, probably make them about two by two. Biscuits have to be round, don't they? Yeah, it depends on who <laughs> you are. So really, that's about it. Okay, so now we're pretty much ready. Pretty thick. Yeah, it's a pretty, that's a, yeah, let's see, it's about a half an inch. About a half an inch, yeah. Yeah, we did pretty good. Okay. Uh, get to cheap. So one of the keys is that when you use a cookie cutter, you want to try and flour it, and you just want to go straight down. If you don't just go straight down, what happens is you wind up pinching the edges, and then they won't rise. Okay. And I'm, I've been wow, guilty. Wow, I didn't realize that. Yeah, was... I've been guilty of that more than once. Science to it. There is, of. there is a science. <laughs> Baking is definitely much more of a science than uh, the savory side of food. So anyway, we're just gonna uh, get these all in a pan. They're gonna go in a 425 oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. And we'll put a little butter on top of them when they come out. Oh, as usual, you make it look very easy. 
but I think this is one that anybody can do. I think so too. And I think by adding something like chives or some other herb, you actually elevate it and you make it a, mm -hmm. a, a much more interesting um, food. Absolutely. And homemade's always better. Homemade's always it better. It really is, especially and with biscuits and anything bread, I think. And you can re-roll the dough maybe one more time, but if you have to re-roll it more than that, you're going to make it really tough. Um, so do your best. That is another reason why squares can be a little bit better because you don't wind up with these odd, gotcha. odd pieces. Okay. So anyway, we'll get these done and we'll get it in the oven and then we can eat them. I smell biscuits, bacon. Yeah, it's been just about 15 minutes, and um, I turned them halfway, just kind of gives some even cooking. So yeah, they smell pretty good. Um, if you like, you can um, put a little bit of butter on top of them, or you can even do an egg wash or something before they go in, but this makes them pretty tasty. <laughs> yeah. And now, I see what you mean about, like, this one didn't raise as didn't. much as this one. It didn't. And that's because you... You squished I, it. I, I, just yeah. to show us, right? Just, just, just to show us what would happen if you didn't do it the right way. <laughs> So these are pretty much ready to go. If you're not going to eat them right away, I would put them on a rack um, after a couple minutes to let them cool. Otherwise, just grab a plate, uh, call everybody <laughs> to the table. I don't know what you like with your biscuits. I kind of like bacon and eggs or... I, I don't know. These smell so good. I think that's about all you need. Oh, okay. wonderful. They're going to be hot, but... Uh, Dig in? Dig in. All right. Thank you, David. And of course, the recipe will be on our website, fusionnw.com. Oh, look at that steam. Yeah. <laughs>